It is Sam Hume who will get the 2022 Women's Grand Final underway. First carry then by the York City Knights. Hold! Hold! Go! Bennett. Carry from Danny Anderson gets the forearm up How good into is the get? chest of Sinead Peach. Four, How good is it getting Bennett back in the fold? Hold. Brilliant deception from Go nine. Four. Bennett again, Winfield Hill. This is dangerous. Winfield oh, Hill shot oh, for Beavers. Yeah. Beavers, Caitlin Beavers owns the scoring for the Leeds Rhinos. Referee Michael Spale in no doubt whatsoever. It was a lovely cushion short ball. And Caitlin Beavers opens the scoring for the Leeds Rhinos. It has to be said as well. Kyle against the run of play. Yeah, it certainly does. We just see here the penalty there on Zoe Hornby. And it's just cheap soft. It's just a cheap soft error, isn't it, from York? Gets the field position. Bennett gets out, finds Winfield Hill. And it's just that soft pass, hard off her left foot. Caitlin Beavers, a nominee for Young Player of the Year. And she gets there, a ninth try of the season. And it's all thanks to the delivery from Winfield Hill, the delaying pass, and that line there is perfect from it. Super start for the Rhinos. Corner Hill then, in what has been dubbed by many a pundit, a game that's going to be decided by a handful of points. These are all important. And that's a great start from the Lee Rhinos halfback. Corner Hill adds the extra two. Lee Rhinos six, York City Knights nil. Hold, go through, good go. to Hume. Short ball. Four. Leeds Rhinos defence. Go, go, go. Uh, York City Knights defence rather deal with Chloe go, Kerrigan. Could Joe. Back on the inside. Butler called into defensive action. As the Leeds Rhinos have sight of that York City Knights line. Could Joe from dummy half. Ball out to Winfield Hill. The right foot, the cultured right boot of Winfield Hill causes problems for Gentles and this is going to be another set of six for the Leeds Rhinos it's a great kick Beavers shots at step try try to Caitlin Beavers that's her second and you felt like something was coming the Leeds Rhinos extend their lead through Caitlin Beavers a piece of individual brilliance from the Leeds Rhino centre you got the impression that the York City Knights were creaking a little wobbling a little the kick from Winfield Hill caused, caused problems for Beavers. And then what about this, Jody? Yeah, Caitlin Beavers stepping up again, as she always does in big games. You can always rely on her. She's a very, very smart player. She's an official, a high-level official, so she understands the game of rugby league so well. Reads the play there, left foot step and dives under for a try. And, you know, I just think that's typical Caitlin Beavers there, who is always a big game player and will come up with those big points. Yeah, but there's a huge overchase there, isn't there, from Kelsey Gentles. Just loses track of a job. And then when you're at market, regardless whether you're a winger, a front rower or, or a centre, but wherever you are, you have to deal with the immediate and her hips get turned out straight away and like you said Jordy, Caitlin Beaver is such an intelligent rugby league player sees that, sees her hips facing towards that stand and just steps hard off her left foot with the opportunity to cross for her second try, a second try that has been converted by Winfield Hill and the Leeds Rhinos are now 12 points to the good against the York City Knights takes it into the clutches of Murray and Hornby Peach, dummy half, Liv Wood beats two tackles, Kudjo clings on, and she's got Murray for help. Hold, hold, go for Two tackles left, Peach again gets out, looks for support, throws a dummy, she's into the back, Dirty Sinead Peach, she's going to go all the way. Sinead Peach, what a try for the York City Knights. And finally, finally, the team from North Yorkshire register their first try in their maiden grand final and that was some run from Sinead Peach we know what she's capable of doing we know how dangerous she is from dummy half and boy she split open the Leeds Rhinos defence yeah she certainly did just look at how far away she is from the line there sells I think it's Zoe Hornby and just puts down the accelerators hits the afterburners and yes there's a desperation tackle there but can't quite deal with it. Sorry, it's Chloe Kerrigan there. Just faces out that little show and go from it. And she just has this pace, the skill and the finesse and the know-how to get over the line. It's a wonderful try from it. A Woman of Steel nominee this year and last year. And you can see why. It's all there. 
What a special, special player she is. Brilliant. It's the intelligence of Sinead Peach, I think, that's just fantastic. And, and I've been waiting for this moment. I've been waiting for her to get her eyes up and just really challenge this Lee's defence because when she does, the question's being asked. And, you know, we spoke about Danny Anderson and, and how brilliant she's been going forward. I think she got caught short there a little bit, didn't quite get up in the line, left that gap. And if you lead a gap for Sinead Peach, she will absolutely burn you. Well, Stanley gets to add the extras. Oh, and she inexplicably pulls that one to wow. the right of the uprights. That's a rare miss. Caitlin Beavers has just been ahead in every single play. I'll go back to three weeks ago. Tara Jane Stanley tore Beavers apart on a couple of occasions. And on this day, she's gone away from it, learned from it, understood it, and played a huge part in her side to win this grand final. And Beavers just showing us how effective she is on the side of the ball, beats the first couple of tackles. So the Leeds Rhinos then, who dethroned the champions, St Helens, in the semi-final a fortnight ago, have one hand and four fingers of the other on this Super League trophy. It's been a, a performance full of grit, skill, courage. And I tell you what, when this final hooter goes, she goes from, there you go, the Leeds Rhinos crowned the 2022 Super League champions and the last act of the game will be Lee Drinos in possession and Caitlin Beavers well one of a number of individual performances that have really lit up the stage here at the Totally Wicked Stadium this afternoon Lois Falsell celebrates on the touchline the players celebrate together on the field